What's up, peeps? Thanks for joining me. My name is Damon Warren, and this is Day One Adventures. And today, I have a movie review of Argyle. New movie just came out, and I'm going to give you my honest review of it. First of all, Argyle, this is kind of like based on a spy and a, a book, and it's an interesting movie. It's brought to you by the same producers that did Kingsman, so it's kind of this quirky action movie rated PG-13. It's a, it's a dumb, funny spy movie that doesn't take itself too serious. It's got some good laughs. It's silly. It leads up to this ludicrous ending at the, at the end of it that I was just like, this is the silliest thing that I've seen on film in a long time. And I just, once I started laughing, I just was, I was just having fun with it. It's got some good plot twists in it. The plot twists have gone back and forth and it's like who's who and then they kind of tied it all together. So they really played this espionage, spy thing. I, it's like a spoof of spy movies. It was good. I liked the, the, the plot twist in it. The actors did a really good job of selling these characters. Like when they were serious, they were serious. And when they went off over the top, they went over the top. So it, the actors did a really good job of portraying this movie and playing, being able to play multiple characters. As far as the rating, it's PG-13 with violence. There's no blood, but there is violence. Um, the language is very tame. Language is not a problem. There's no sex in it. In, in fact, there's a part where they say, hey, no PDA, no personal displays of affection around here. So I thought that was kind of interesting, which was actually legitimate for the place they, would, they were at. My rating, I'm going to go with a seven on this. It's an entertaining spy movie parody. If you like fun movies that are just over the top, this one's good for that. One of my biggest problems I had with this movie is the beginning, it would go back and forth between these different characters and it took a while to settle in so it was a little disjarring for it to ramp up into the characters and see and you do have this, this arc that happens with the characters but it just took a little while to get there and it was just confusing and I, I was like okay what are we doing? Also one of the things I didn't really like too much about it was the music. They went with this kind of 70s disco music thing and it does tie into the story but I wasn't really sold on it it just I didn't feel that vibe it was like somebody had a 70s disco playlist on Apple music and that was it like at points this felt like an Apple commercial there is an extra scene at the end of the movie and it kind of ties into Kingsman kind of like almost like it's a nod to it and saying that this might be part of the same universe I don't know I thought it was entertaining. I probably would wait for it to come on one of the streaming services or, you know, something like that. Do you have any, like, bad, good movies that you like? So let's talk about it down in the comments. Thanks for watching this video. Hit the like button for me. It helps out a lot. And subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Really do appreciate it. And until next video, remember, take care of each other. Peace out. And I will see you all soon.